This update is a wild one, and I need the help of someone just as wild to present this episode. Hi there, Druid here. Oh, hi. Glad you have with us, Mr. Druid. You seem quite chill, so I'm gonna need you to keep up with me, okay? Because as I mentioned, this is a very wild episode. Don't worry, I can handle it. Okay. This may sound crazy, but upgrading buildings can be very time-consuming. I know that you're struggling with some of your upgrades, right? You bet. Tell that to my builders who have been banging away for six days on some archer towers. Well, we heard them loud and clear, and that's why we're happy to introduce the Builder's Apprentice. Builder's Apprentice is a brand new character found in Town Hall 10 and above. It costs 500 gems to recruit him permanently. Once the Builder's Apprentice arrives in your village, he will wait patiently for your orders at the Town Hall. The Builder's Apprentice is able to speed up a building upgrade of the player's choosing for one hour every 23 hours. And upgrading the apprentice makes him more efficient in that one hour. And whatever he's working on will upgrade faster in that hour. Hey, fairy, what's wrong? You seem sad. I don't know, man. It's just, the game is too easy now, you know? I need some challenge in my life. Okay, hear me out. What if the game had hard mode? Well, will I still be able to use Root Riders? Well, let me show you. You asked for it, so here it is. Hard Mode has arrived in Clash of Clans. Hard Mode is a new opt-in challenge version of Friendly Wars and Challenges. When enabled, defenses deal 5% more damage. Attacking heroes have 10% less HP and deal 15% less damage. This feature is still a work in progress, and we will be making changes to it over the next few updates, based on your feedback. Do you have a hard time memorizing the range of every building when attacking a base? Perhaps you struggle to count all the wizard towers your opponent has? Well, not anymore, because Tactical View is here! Tactical View is a new feature that will allow you to fully scan your opponent's base and will greatly improve your attack strategy. You can now select the defender's buildings before deploying your first troop, spell, or hero. Selecting a building will also highlight all other buildings of the same type. Defensive buildings will show the range and their configuration, if they have any. For example, if you click on an Infernal Tower, it will highlight all of them and tell you if they are set to multi or single target. Selected buildings will also show their current level and clan castle will show how many defending troop housing it will spawn. Check out the feature and see all the cool things you can now view before deploying your troops. Since the release of Town Hall 16, we've been working on decreasing the gap between Town Halls, and it's time to take another step in that direction. In this update, we're reducing the cost and upgrade times for a large amount of upgrades across many Town Hall levels, including defenses, troops, spells, heroes, and pets. This will be a recurring thing moving forward, so expect more changes in the future. We have saved the best for last. It's time to introduce the brand new troop, the Druid. The Druid is a unique new troop that starts off in a healing form with healing abilities. However, after a few seconds, or if knocked out, the Druid will shapeshift into a bear form. I'm so glad we have the footage of the Druid in bear form, because honestly, it's really hard for me to picture it. While in healing form, the Druid has fast movement speed, low HP, and uses long-range projectiles that bounce over nearby friendly troops, hitting up to five troops, both ground and air. However, when in bear form, his movement speed is reduced, but he has high HP and will target defenses. The Druid is unlocked in Town Hall 14 and requires Dark Elixir Barracks level 11. Oh, and the streak event is back on June 19, so make sure not to miss it. Anything else to add, Druid? Druid? Oh well, I hope it doesn't cause any problems.